Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This amendment was passed in uh, government oversight with bipartisan support. For the first time in five years, we have a Senate file that addresses eminent domain. So I took the opportunity uh, to address an issue that this body has consistently uh, passed in previous years. This language is essentially a abbreviated version of language this body has passed. Uh, it was significant support in years past. The gist of it is you can only condemn the land that is actually needed. Uh, you do not get to obtain eminent domain if you have viable alternatives that can be used and that if the land that is condemned goes unused for over five years, it needs to be offered back to the previous owner. Mr. Speaker, there is an amendment to the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This second degree amendment puts some teeth into the original amendment in regards to the recent Supreme Court ruling and how that kind of changed the circumstances. And what it does is it creates a presumption for the courts that all other options are considered viable. For instance, for the creation of a drinking water lake, if it's possible and cost effective to pipe the water in, or if an additional lake can be expanded, then the courts assume that those options are to be had and the and less clear and convincing evidence can be proven otherwise by the condemning agency with which the burden of proof lies with them. Translation, eminent domain should be a last resort and not a first resort. Mr. Speaker, that concludes my opening remarks on the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In closing, you know, in regards to this bill, it addresses some bad actors. And for many of you that have heard uh, that these bad actors uh, have no intent uh, and are no longer interested in recreation for a lake, I would characterize those statements to be of the same caliber as the stuff that I'm going to be hauling out of my menorah spreader this weekend. A FOIA request of the last 10 years of the Clark County Lakes Commission's meeting. This is just three years of it. Three years of commission meetings and every single yellow tab here, there's a couple dozen, reference recreation. And to think that magically now that it's not popular to do that, you're all of a sudden not going to be about recreation, there is no such magical change. It should be hard to condemn private property. It should not be possible to condemn private property for personal profit, and it should be illegal con to condemn property for anything beyond public use. And let me be clear, padding the pockets of greedy developers who have been demonizing landowners for over a decade does not constitute public use. I typically don't do a lot of thank yous, but this bill is, is very important, so there are a few thank yous that I want to do. Representative Hartsill for his unwavering support uh, for property rights and for running the meetings as we work through this process in government oversight, and to my Republican caucus for consistently standing with me and the landowners on property rights. With that, Mr. Speaker, I move Senate File 449 as amended.